uh, the tweaking of bits and bytes. Tweaking means like playing around. With. So everything that we do in software is setting the value of a bit to a zero or one, or setting the value of an attribute on a slightly higher level. So that means the programmer explicitly sets the zero or one. So Baudrillard was in a way right when he said the only possibility of what happens in software, even in games, is what's pre-programmed in, the combinations pre-programmed in. So you can't actually experience any surprise or emergence. And we need to have the qubit, which means a systemic or holistic intelligence of the software where the real-time quantum state of the software is perceived in a receptive way by the software as a whole. And that's where we'll be able to have, for example, a real natural language conversation between a human and a software that then flows. Uh, okay, I want to say, how much time do I have? Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Uh, three minutes. Okay, I want to say I, I, I went to a kind of Montessori school when I was a child. Uh, I had a kind of anarchistic Ivan Ilyich sort of educational experience. I went to MIT when I was 15. Uh, I took a, did a lot of m mathematics and science at MIT. I stayed there two and a half years. I, I dropped out because I didn't like the Vietnam War research at MIT. I went to Cornell. I studied European history and comparative literature. And so really, humanities is my passion. Uh, I want to say also another example of the quantum physics way of thinking applied to something is that I think that philosophy, I, philosophy is at the same time very important and obsolete, and even bullshit, I would say. I, say. I think philosophy is obsolete. I think sociology is obsolete. Although these are components of a, of a new, uh, when we get into the 21st century, a new interdisciplinary uh, something. I think all the categories of academic knowledge as it's divided now, it should be thrown out the window and we should have a project of redefining, rethinking what the categories of academic knowledge should be. And philosophy and sociology should be preserved as components of, of this new interdisciplinary study. Uh, I just give one example since I have about now probably negative three minutes left. Uh, one example of how I'm making money with humanities informatics, which is in the area of language. I think in Germany, the, the situation of what, of what they call Denglish is a catastrophe. Uh, and in, in other words, they have created a hybrid German-English language in IT, uh, in information technology. And they actually, in it, you know, I was, I was in, the, it's, a, it's amazing how bad the English in Germany is and how I see it now in Italy also. In the museums, uh, I was in the film museum in Berlin, and they have, you know, many texts. They have the German text, 
and then someone translated it into English, and the English is terrible. So you can make a lot of money uh, with companies actually recreating German and recreating English, because right now in IT, it's all mixed up together. Okay. I'm